Look at this. And you wait until the resistance motor and <laughs> it's like being on the worst roller coaster ride ever. If you spend more, you'll get more. An age old adage that really we should all heed, but sometimes we don't because money is hard to come by. Trying to get the right correct to finances is always going to be difficult. So because this happened to me, and because it pissed me off, I, was like, I got a YouTube channel where I talk about fitness stuff. I'm just going to go on there and rant to a rave. Uh, my name is Simon Miller. Thank you very much for joining me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I would appreciate it massively. And there's a bunch of other stuff in the description down there, should you so wish to, to help me out. So look, home workout equipment right now is all the rage for obvious reasons. Uh, I, just to give you an insight into my own world, if you give a, if you give a crap, home cardio machines is something I invested in years ago because I got sick of getting up at the crack of dawn and going to a gym to do my cardio. I like doing it in the morning. I like doing it fasted. Uh, should you be doing it fasted? No, not probably. Is it better to do cardio fasted? No, but I enjoy it, right? That's the big thing. We've talked about it before. So I thought, okay, well, look, I don't have a massive place, but I've got enough to sort of sneak a, a cross trainer into my bedroom. So yeah, good. Phew, it must have been 2017, something like that. I bought a cross trainer and it gave me a lot of grief. Like it wasn't great. It kept on ticking over. It was a Reebok one. I may as well say the name because I'm going to get mad at Reebok constantly, but it was a Reebok one. And eventually it just snapped into a thousand pieces. So let's move on from that. What I want to talk about is the one that I only bought I mean, two months ago, Max, I should have looked at the receipt, really. And it's been such a nightmare, especially at the moment when, you know, getting home equipment is so hard because so many people have bought it and all the gyms are closed. But yeah, so when it arrived from the company I bought it from, it didn't work, right? There was no resistance, which is the most frustrating thing ever. So then you have to ring up Reebok. There was a big problem. They had to order all this stuff in, yada, yada, yada. Eventually, a technician comes around and says, yeah, you need, uh, it's either the screen, the you know, the electronic screen, or it's going to be the resistance motor. Turns out it was a resistant motor. Have to wait like six weeks for the resistance motor to be in stock. Eventually, he comes and he fixes it. And look, for a good few weeks, it was fine. It was absolutely fine. Ran like a dream. Was really, really quiet, which was good because my old one used to wake people up. It was so loud. And then the other day, I didn't even know what was happening. Like, So the resistance goes up to 32. And every other day as I had to go down to 31, then 30, then 29 and 28, obviously it's the resistance motor slowly breaking. But this horrendous noise, like a lion trying to eat your arm off in the middle of the night, kept on happening. And the resistance kept getting easier and easier. And it kept, oh man, it was just crazy. In fact, I'll just show you. It's just easier. Let's, I'll show you the stupid cross trainer. So here it is. It's just a normal, basic Reebok cross trainer. What I'll do is I'll jump on it in a second. You can see where the screen went, but we'll talk about that. And I'm not saying I'm an expert on these things, but I just thought I'd try and warn some people. So this is the piece of crap in question. I mean, it probably work now. I bet it doesn't. But I mean, the screen is all screwed up. You don't need to, you don't need to see that. But I mean, look at this. And you wait until the resistance motor. And <laughs> it's like being on the worst roller coaster ride ever. And you put the resistance, cover your ears if it makes the noise. Ready? And go that. You get to the top resistance thing. You can't see my feet because my room's too small. But basically, I'm pushing it as hard as I can. There you go. Give me that noise. Give me that awful noise. It sounds like, there. Yeah, that one. That resistance motor is, it's screwed. But look at this. I'm like an absolute moron. This is like six weeks old. See? The hell is that? The hell is that? And I understand, look, the, the resistance motor is broken, but there's nothing I can do at the moment because the world is closed. Anyway, without wanting to get too off topic, the reason I thought it was important to bring it up is I've learned a huge lesson from this. And I thought, well, maybe somebody else in that world can learn a huge lesson from it too. And that is simply put, it all depends. Don't just buy into this idea that a home cross trainer or a home treadmill or a home bicycle or a home whatever is good just because it's set up for your home. I have done so much reading on this and I would implore you before you buy any kind of machine to go and read... Uh, proper websites that will have uh, reviews that you know they'll test them all the time but in my own experience as much as it sucks you just have to spend some serious money if you are going to treat a cardio you know a piece of cardio equipment like you would the gym and that's what we've talked on about here at all like you know to gain proper muscle you have to build up to it but you've got to be intense and you've got to make sure you outmatch that intensity the next time and that's how i treat my cardio as well 
I don't go like crazy, crazy because I'm doing steady state, but I still, I want to push it. I want to make sure that when I come off, I feel like I've given myself a workout. And I have learned now from falling into this trap twice, you, ha you don't buy the cheapest ones. And it, it's kind of, and the other reason I want to make the video is because a lot of these reviews will say, oh, you know, it's okay for a no bells and whistles cardio machine. But what it doesn't talk about is the fact that it will completely pack up on your ass if you are, you know, I guess giving it too much giving it too much. Like there was a period uh, with this new one when I was doing cardio twice a day. Don't need to get into it. Just something I needed to do. I just couldn't handle it. That's why I think all the problems came. It's not these kind of cardio machines are designed for somebody that has a garage and you toss it in the garage and you may use it once a week, twice a week. You may not use it for a month and then remember it and go back to it. Um, it just sucks. It just really, really does. But now I've spent so much money on sort of lower end cardio machines that now I've had to spend money on a ridiculous one, which has made me want to poke my eyes out but I'm like Simon you do cardio every day you hate running on the street <laughs> all the gyms are closed you you have no choice but yeah just make sure that you do I mean durability is what you want I think that's what I'm trying to get at here Dur durability is what you want and that's the same for treadmills too on, on bicycles and bicycles and whatever um it's just these the the cheap ones aren't made for they're not even cheap they still cost a few hundred pounds which is why I got my thoughts a crazy amount of money um but yeah they are made for people that are using it well, just here and there. They're not designed for daily intensive use. And I truly believe that. And if somebody wants to say that I'm wrong, there's a comments uh, in the section uh, uh, below there. And maybe, look, maybe Reebok just make crappy cross trainers. I got so mad about this that I went on Twitter. I hate doing it, but sometimes like, I just got a vent and I went on Twitter and I just put a little thing going, Reebok's cross trainers are rubbish. And a few people did get in touch and said, yeah, Sam, that's like a well-known thing. You don't buy Reebok home fitness gear. I don't know. I just assume Reebok, good thing. And I don't need all the... Again, all the hocus pocus. I don't need a heart rate monitor. I don't need a USB plug. I don't even need a screen. Just give me something that I can use and that has resistance and that I can challenge myself on. I don't need a water bottle holder. You see that in some reviews when it doesn't have a water bottle. I don't care about water bottle. I'm not running the gym. No one's coming into my bedroom to do cardio other than me. And if somebody does want to come into my bedroom to cardio than me, it better be another form of cardio. <laughs> just joke. I just retract. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. So anyway, there's the point. Um, don't buy them. Spend money. You know, it does suck. Of course, no one wants to spend money. But make sure, again, read the review before you do it. And in my experience, I don't know what it would be in pounds and in dollars. It's got to be over 350 pounds if you want something that's not going to break. And make sure you get it serviced too. I've learned a lot. Although I did, I've, it, it, well, that's not the case with this one. I've had this one again, barely any time. It's just not designed. And like, the, you know, the alter, the, the total weight capacity is like 125 kilograms. Shock, I don't weigh 125 kilograms. Only I did. Um, so it's nothing to do with that either. It's just rubbish. It came rubbish and it's died rubbish. And now it's ruined my cardio adventures until I can get a new one, which is going to be for ages again because of everything going on. So I had to run outside today like some kind of a chump. I don't want to run outside. I hate running. I hate running so much. It's gonna be, I think I can probably get one in about a fortnight. It is going to be a crappy fortnight. And I may even make a series of videos called Why Running is just the Worst Thing Ever. So there you go. I just thought it may help somebody. I would have loved to have seen this video basically and it would have stopped me because we all do it right. How little can I spend because we don't want to spend too much? If it helps, great. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. I massively appreciate it. I do have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Simon316 because they always say I make no money from YouTube. Boo-hoo, poor me. I mostly, I appreciate you watching. I really do, and I'll see you soon.